So let's add a filter in Photopea. I'm going to head to that website and I'm going to open it from my computer. Scroll down and find my image I want to open. This time I'm just going to double click it. That'll open it up in here. Um, so the filters, there's a filter menu up here. And there's a few different ways to do it. You could go down and search through the filters here. You could also use the filter gallery. Let's check that out. So, and it opens, when you open it up, it does have a preview of, of what it's going to do. And you can, you can sort through these different galleries over here and, and look through some different filters that you could put on the image. You can see some of the effects that it's going to have on it. So there's the ladybug in the image. You can also adjust how strong the filter is going to affect the image. So you could have it go really strong and, and pull this slider up. Or you could reduce it and, and make it not as strong. Computer's a little bit slow here. Um, but you could sort through and click some different filters and, and check them out. Try some different functions on them and and play with the the size and the different changes that it's going to make and just kind of search through see if you find one that you think looks cool and when you got it to what you want to try you just hit okay and there it is it kind of made a fuzzy look to it I'm going to do a control Z and that's just the same thing as edit and step backwards. And I undid that filter. You could also go to these filters and you could go and try some of these different things that are, that are going to do. Let's zoom out a little bit here. If you wanted to try to liquefy something or I'm not sure why you would do it other than just to see if you could make it look cool make it look like starry night or something but you can try some of these filters out and see if you like them um some of them might slow your computer down a little bit but give them a try see if you like them and have fun with it. Once you find one that you like, don't forget to go to File and Export As and save it as a JPEG or a PNG. And then you can hit Save right here. And it should go down to your downloads. You could drag it to your Google Drive or wherever you may want to save it to. I think that's it.